welcome to the channel of Paper Muse. My name's Teresa, and I'm talking today about traveler's notebooks. I love me some planning, some planners, and here's what my little collection. Obviously, I have a lot of collection of uh, inserts, but I thought I would just show you my actual traveler's notebook. So I'll start off with the first one that I ever got which I'm sure you all are, if you've ever seen one. This looks probably pretty much like the classic. I got it at Michael's. It was, I think, well, I'm up here in Canada, so it was $15. I probably used a coupon at the time. It came with a paper crafty kind of inserts. Um, and my husband actually said, he looks around at Michael's sometimes and he comes up and goes, you got to have this. And I'm like, okay, cool. And it actually has paper inside. Like it's a little notebook that you can unclip. And I just thought, okay, nice charm. And I love it. It's good. I love this size. I am happy with this. Um, I'm also, after toting this around for a very long time, this is not leather. This is really cheap, thin stuff. I, I love it. It, it works, it does it, it doesn't, it's good quality um, as far as it takes a beating and keeps on ticking. I love me a chunky TN, I think everybody does. Well, I know some people might find it perturbing to have a little bit sticking out, but I don't mind that. I do like it if the papers are all flush, but this is a, a, a little bit of a pouch, so I can understand why it would be sticking out. So I'm currently not in this. This is one that I was using a little while ago, but I will take you through it. So I made my, oh no, I didn't make this. I lie. I got this on clearance at Michael's. I love a little glitter. That's the great thing about Traveler's Notebooks is they're so customizable that you can put whatever you want in there. And then I just put some stickers on here to decorate the cover. And this is a planner for a monthly. Um, and that's my favorite quote. So go ahead and read it. And take it to heart, people. Take it to heart. You're in control. Yeah, I think that that's an awesome love, that quote. And there we go, another sticker on it, the last part of the shaker. Now this is when, when I was using this last is when my now husband proposed. So I put those things on there. Those are my wedding rings. And I like them because they're nice and dainty. This is my daily planner. This is me and my hubby. A sticker pouch this is where he proposed that's what I was looking at when he proposed it was very cute and this is just to do's I am NOT a clean planner I just make a mess and I do what I want to do there he is again some more stickers this is a washi sheet, so I don't like to bring all my rolls when I'm planning, you know, when I go to work and stuff. So I um, I just bring this, and then I can peel off what I need and use it. Yes, I went high on the glitter, didn't I? And that this adds to the chunk. There we go. And these, you can buy at Michael's, these ones that have the nice covers. And they're, I think, two, I think three. You get three for ten bucks or something like that. Love them. But this is like a bit of a faux bonici back here. Anything goes, really. I, I like to paint and add a bit to my stickers and stuff. There's the last bit, and there you go. There you have it. There's my favorite TN. My go-to. Now I'll show you the rest. 
So these I picked up at, I think it was Dollar Tree or Dollarama. I'm not too sure. They were very cheap. I think it was Dollar Tree, so $1.25 each. And I thought, wow, they've got it figured out. They've got TNs with little booklets and uh, granted they're lined. Not my favorite, but I just thought, wow, that's really cool. Have I used them? Nope. Did I need them? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> so I got one of each pattern. Um, I got this at Michael's clearance. Once the summer was over, they were getting rid of them a while back. It just is so much summer fun look. Plan it like it's hot. So it has like monthly goals and then your task list. Love the colors and the spreads. It's very pretty. And this is just a blank journal with some notes in it. And that's just blank as well with lines. I like, I'll tell you, I'll explain this. So I like this, but it's a very thick and strict kind of, this is flimsy and flexible and I really like that because then it's all about the paper inside then. This just seems very confining and strict. But I mean, it's still very cool, colorful, love it. It's not even trying to pretend it's leather. It's like, I don't know what it is. But then I got this at Hobby Lobby on a deal. Thought it was cute. Oh, it's got a little bit of a line there. Let's make everything beautiful. Love her green hair. Would you consider that blue? I don't know. So what I did, this is from 52 Agenda. So what I did was I took these um, these books that they had and I just cut them in down. And so I made myself a calendar, a journal book, finances. I just basically picked what I was going to write about goals and then I kind of decorated them a bit with stamps that I had stamped out on labels and then cut around and made stickers out of them for projects and my happy log and there you go it fits pretty nicely in there and I like how it doesn't I like it when it comes you know that you're using all the space up that you have and that's that's it and it has a very cute little charms here I thought that went really well with the color scheme and there you go always seeming to be a little bit too close um, these are my traveler notebooks have a good day Thanks for watching.